So Alan Moore's V for Vendetta is a lot of things. It's a gripping story, it's a, a political tract, it's a, a philosophical work, it's a dystopian fiction, it's in its own way a superhero story. It's a lot of, <laughs> it's just all these different disparate ideas coming together to tell one story and he pulls all these threads together so well that it's seamless. So for those not in the know, V for, v for Vendetta is a graphic novel that comprises a series Alan Moore wrote in the 80s about his vision of a totalitarian London ruled by a totalitarian government that controls people through its fascist means and a <clears throat> kind of a rogue warrior for um, truth and rejecting this uh, fascist regime by the known simply as V. V is an anarchist and freely says so in the text. Uh, v um, but wants to smash up the order of things and overthrow everything and kind of free people from this totalitarian regime and basically he's kind of you know, he's a mouthpiece for uh, Moore's views. Moore is an anarchist, politically. And this work is essentially promoting these ideas. Um, honestly, even though it's an entertaining story, this work really simply exists to express his views on a lot of things. And is more just kind of a philosophic guide to his viewpoints as far as political matters go. Um, that's not to say it's not entertaining. It's not something that's completely boring and complete bullshit like Ayn Rand. It's actually interesting. <laughs> and he, um, expresses these ideas in a way that don't come off as him preaching to the audience, but integrates them into the character of V and shows kind of, like, the pros to these ideas as opposed to the cons of the way <clears throat> this government is being run in the future. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. Uh, and then the story itself, um, a, uh, girl is kidnapped, uh, forced to go through some horror, horrific shit, and you find out, and I don't think this is any great spoiler or anything, but you find out that she's being primed by V to take V's place. And... And there's a whole matter of, like, you find out V's identity and all that, but that's actually a really important plot, so I don't want to give that away. But, you, 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 and you find out by the end of this that V is more than just a character. V is supposed to be an idea, and, and this girl kind of becomes part of helping V's plan of overthrowing everything. Um... Right down to the part, right down to the fact that with uh, she agrees to help me uh, entrap a politician who is a pedophile by pretending to be an underage girl provided by a call service, only to have B lead, V beat the living shit out of him. <laughs> Things like this happen. Um, the plot of V for Vendetta is very complicated. There's a lot of shit going on, but that really is it's so dense or so much going on that I don't even know if I could just give a general plot synopsis without going into each and every little thing. Because um, I find more of the, the politics and the philosophy behind V for Vendetta more interesting than the story itself. Though the story is interesting. I kind of want you guys to just kind of read it for yourself and find out what, you, what goes on in it. Um, though the aforementioned scene of uh, the girl posing as an underage like prostitute and getting the shit together with the politician it was very cathartic for a lot of reasons. If only that was, you know, an American politician. And if only that was the current president, it would be much better. But anyway, <laughs> continue on. Uh, yeah, just V for Vendetta. It's great. It's, it's anarchist philosophy in the guise of a very readable and very interesting graphic novel. Also, on a technical uh, the story was illustrated by David Lloyd, and uh, 
one thing I really want to emphasize is the art in V for Dead Data. I'm going to show you a couple of paintings. Um, it has a very, like, washed out, but um, rough, raw kind of style. Um, and it actually perfectly kind of encapsulates um, these, uh, these captions and what's going on. Um, And uh, it, it, Lloyd's style matches Moore's writing and his prose, and definitely uh, has that grittiness to it that the story has. Because V for Vendetta, I haven't touched on this, but is a very gritty story. And also a very complex story. Uh, everything that's in it is kind of being set up for this huge climax at the very end. There is a grand finale, and the whole story, the character V, has been setting up every, each and every thing for it. And you get glimpses of this, and <clears throat> by the end of it, it was it's very clear what's going to, you know, what this was all leading up to. And let's just say things end on a bang. So, that's all you need to know. <laughs> but yes, definitely read V for Vendetta. I highly recommend it. Um, in case you can't tell from my Watchmen review, I'm a big Alan Moore fan. There's a lot of other Alan Moore comics I'd like to talk about. But... V for Vendetta and Watchmen are considered, like, his top two that everyone know. They're, like, they're like, considered probably jointly, if not Watchmen is Grant, Grant magnum opus, then V for Vendetta would probably be a close second as far as people considering it one of his best comics. Um, and then some people also would include things like The Killing Joke, which I also did a review for, and as you can tell from that review, I'm a big Alan Moore fan. Um... Uh, but the thing that sets this one apart uh, from Killing Joke or Watchmen is that his political ideas are much more on the surface of this one. They're much more front and center. Um, whereas Watchmen integrated these things more in just his general views on things, um, as far as superheroes, government, comics, etc. And The Killing Joke was more just a straightforward story um, about the Joker. Uh, this one is... This one is ideas first, story second, even though that story is extremely complex. So, But anyways, uh, that's a bit for now. I will be back with another video soon. I hope you guys really check out V for Vendetta, because I think it's a really great comic. And even if I don't entirely agree with all its political ideas, I definitely agree with Moore's position of we should think for ourselves. And V says this as such in the story itself. Uh, he acts a broadcast and tells people, hey, think for yourself. And I think we should. <laughs> and I think it's just how he words it and everything he does, and it just highlights that. So, yes, check out V for Vendetta. Definitely worth the read. And uh, I'll be back with another video soon. Until then, I will see you guys. I can't speak. I will see you guys later. Sorry. Bye.